Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Lorenzo here. I'm gonna paint a landscape with a uh, mousse. Okay, uh, the colors I'm gonna use are titanium white, cadmium yellow, cadmium orange, cadmium red, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, and Mars Black. Okay. I got the drawing ready. I'm gonna start just mixing some colors and let's see. First I'm gonna start painting the sky. Okay. I'm gonna mix a William Blue and ultramarine blue and white this is just the first layer I'm gonna go back after painting one layer. I'm gonna go back again to the sky and paint over again. I'm gonna mix the colors again. Serenium blue, ultramarine blue and white. Now I'm gonna add more cerulean blue, touch of white, I'm gonna paint the shadow here. Thinking maybe paint, maybe painting the sky a little bit darker, just to make a difference with the mountain. This is a filbert brush number 16 and my canvas is 8 or no I think it's 9, 9 by 9 inches. I'm gonna add more ultramarine blue here. I wanna make this a little bit darker. A touch of alizarin crimson. Okay. 
Don't worry that much if the color is not okay on this uh, first layer. After painting everything, I'm gonna go again and check out and pay attention a little bit more to my mixtures for the second layer. good mm -hmm. okay a little bit of white and I need to light up this color and knocking down this color a little bit I'm gonna add a touch of coming red and a touch of orange okay. no lighter and more orange I'm gonna use a smaller brush. Okay, let's see this one. No, I think this one is gonna be okay. It's number four. Fiber brush. Brush. Hello, Sharon. more orange This one, just pure white, okay. this here okay I see some shadows here I'm just painting everything just flat okay just the first the first layer
for water. Hello Evelyn. Yeah, it's a nice picture. Okay. What I do, I, I wet the brush a little bit. I dip the, the brush water in really fast and I put it here on my table. And then I pick up a clean brush. Now let's paint here on the grass, which is kind of a combination between green, orange, yellow. Yeah. Okay, let's paint just one color. Even this color, I think it is pretty close. Yeah. But this is basically just a knockdown orange. Yeah. You just mix orange and knock down this with a little bit of blue ok, a little bit of white it's pretty close to the color of my canvas Looks like I'm not painting at all, you know, it's the same color. Okay, I'm gonna paint the mousse. I think I'm gonna paint the mousse just dark and then and then on top of that I'm going to add light. Hey, I need a round brush. Looking for a round brush. Okay, I don't have any round brush. I mean, I, I wanted that. I, I, I had here a big one that was pretty pointy. Okay, I don't know what it is. Anyway, yeah, this one I think is gonna be okay. Okay, I'm gonna mix just brown. Well, but you see that. The top of the mousse is kind of the same color of the grass, you know, orangey. Uh, first, I need just brown. Uh, I'm gonna mix black, orange, and red. Okay. A little bit of water. Yeah, maybe on a second thought, I'm gonna leave, you know, the back without. Uh, I was thinking first, just painting everything black. But no, I'm gonna paint just. Not black, I mean, this brown. But I'm gonna paint just the darker areas that I see on the photograph with this darker brown.
it's a good thing to have the drawing ready. You know, we can paint faster. Okay, now I'm gonna add more orange. This color and a touch of red, more orange, and let's paint the back. Painting still wet, I can blend a little bit. For how do you call this horns? I don't think that's the name, but I don't know the name. Let's call them horns. Somebody know? I see some green here. Yes. I ended up with a lot of brushes on my table, uh, but that, that in the way I don't spend you know too too much time just cleaning brushes. Okay, Let, let's mix some ultramarine blue and cadmium yellow. A little bit of water. Some green here. Uh, it's kind of a combination between green and brown. I'm gonna put green and then I'm gonna just paint brown on top of this. The cast shadow, you know, from the moose on the grass. Yeah, when um, there is sunlight, usually it's a warmer light and we can see that the shadow has a little bit of a cool color yep. if I mix violet I think it's gonna be pretty good here and the shadows too a little bit darker you know more like purple with a listening green so with it's a little it's darker than camion red. Yep. A little bit of white. If I make a mistake with with any color, that's okay. I just let the painting dry and I paint over again. I see green here again, a little bit of green. And some pure yellow. Okay. It's not gonna look that bright. I'm gonna need to add this yellow like two or three times. I'm gonna put it a little bit lighter first white I 
after this uh, this dries I'm going to paint with pure yellow on top of this yeah. my mixture is not clean enough uh, I think I got a little bit of the graphite on my drawing or maybe just the brush it wasn't clean enough I noticed that this yellow which is just yellow and white it should be a little bit brighter but look at the color you know, it looks like there's some black there that got mixed and that's pretty sure it's a graphite yeah I did the drawing, I did the drawing with the with graphite that's okay we just need to let it dry Put more paint, thicker paint. Okay. Pick up another brush. I got this color in this brush. I'll paint here. Thank you, Evelyn. Putting the name here. Okay. Now, blue again. Okay. To paint the reflection. You know what? I like it right now. I like it like just get a feeling like that's enough. I don't <laughs> I don't wanna do anything more. That's it. It looks pretty nice. I love those brush strokes. That even are not so expressive but anyway. Uh, that wasn't my intention. I'm gonna add, you know, more details to my painting. No details like a photograph obviously. Yeah. But definitely more details. Yeah, pretty nice. Okay. Okay, blue, cerulean blue.
pretty nice I like it now I got the brush that I use for painting the white here yeah, I'm gonna use it again to paint the reflection here I can do this and just dab in the brush to use, okay, just I think on the smaller one. We're gonna use this one for a bit and then I'm gonna switch to a smaller one. Okay, but that, let's see, maybe this is enough. Uh, I don't know if I like the idea to try to get all those small, tiny brush strokes to get the effect of the reflection. Okay. Maybe I just need longer brush strokes bigger Okay. Okay, this is the first layer. Now I'm gonna move up to the sky again. Okay, now I see that uh, the shadow here on the mountain is lighter than the sky. It's pretty subtle. Maybe I can make this a little bit darker and this a little bit lighter. See more clearly the mountain. Okay, let's continue. No, uh, I'm gonna paint the sky again. I got the brush here. Uh, I need more cerulean blue. Okay. If uh, you like to paint, like with a lot of paint, really thick. Uh, this is the moment to do it. For the first layer, I, su I would suggest just less paint because we're trying just to kill the canvas. And now it's going to be easier to compare. Okay. Sometimes we love what we got here and we don't want to change it. You know, not that much. But sometimes we want to match the photograph like we want to. Yeah. In that case, just spend a little bit more time mixing, and that's it. it, it, it everything depends on what what each person wants. I love this brush stroke, for example. I love this violet here, violet or purple. I love it. I think it goes with this. I see a little bit of that on the photograph. You know, but it's obviously that it got more saturation on that color of my painting, but I love it. I think I'm gonna keep it. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm repainting the sky. You know, this looks like the same color. Maybe I'm gonna add a touch of yellow. Uh, okay, let's see, a touch of yellow. You gotta be careful because I don't want to get some greenish color oh, looks like it didn't change at all okay. anyway I'm gonna keep this color ok 
a little bit darker, a touch of orange, a touch of ultramarine blue, more cerulean blue, and what I want is a darker color here on this side. Step separate this and this. Hello Monique, see if it's in, is it Alaska? I think it is. You know, there is a link to the photograph on the description box. I found this photograph on Pinterest. Okay. Another thing that I love is those orangey touches there. I would love to keep some of them. Okay, anyway, let's work on the shadow. I think you got enough with the sky. Okay. I dip the brush in a little bit of water. I put it on my table. <coughs> I'm spraying some water on, on my other brushes here. I'm gonna spray some water on my palette. Okay, I got we got this bluish shadow, but there are some shadows here that doesn't look blue. It looks more grayish. Okay, like a neutral grayish color. Okay, um, okay I'm gonna add a little um, more white. I'm gonna mix white and a touch of lemon yellow. I got got here some lemon yellow. Just one second. Here's some lemon yellow. It's pretty intense. Just a tiny touch. Wow, that was too much. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush. I dip the brush in water. I do this. Oops. And then I pick up more white put it here okay that's enough okay looks too yellowish mm, I'm gonna keep it that okay I can just let it dry and put more paint on top. I think I like it if this white glow a little bit more. And when you see the snow and the snow is it got some sunlight. You know we can see a little bit of yellow there. But it's not lemon yellow, it's more like a uh Camion yellow and choosing lemon yellow just to add more contrast. But let's see what happens. Let's see if that works.
think it's working pretty good. Another touch of camel yellow to make this a little bit warmer. You see a little bit of the orange. That's my canvas. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it. I like it. Now I'm going to just uh, mix this, um, okay, maybe a different brush, okay, this wrong brush, a little bit of white and black. shadows here it works as a shadow yeah I think that's good A little bit more black, okay, a little bit more white, that was too much black.
paint the shadow here a little bit lighter and I'm gonna knock down I'm gonna knock down the color a little bit okay oh this brush I think it's okay, really blue a little bit of white and a touch of black Painting here first. I want to see if I'm, we're gonna see a difference. Yeah, I got a little dry, you know. When acrylic dries, it gets a little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna add a touch of orange, a touch of orange and white, knocking down the color a little bit more. I think that's better, okay? Hello Michael. CVC is the first layer dry. Yeah. I'm working with acrylics. It dries really fast and just water. Okay. It dries really fast. Yeah. I mean it depends. I, I gotta say that that depends on how thick you apply the paint. If I apply the paint really thick, it's gonna take a little bit more of time to dry. But no more maybe than 10 minutes. Bit lighter, touch of orange, a little bit of water. I'm lighting up here because this is a portion of the mountain that's closer. Use a smaller brush. Okay, mixing ultramarine blue and coming red, touch of white. Okay, 
no blue. Little bit of ultra uh, cerulean blue. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mix an orange and throw them blue, white. Yellow. I think it's too, too light, too yellowish. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it just. Let's see. pretty quiet today where I live makes me feel that I'm getting into this scene work on the moves mm -hmm. Feel free to ask me any question. Yeah. 
If I don't know the answer, I just will ignore you. Okay, I'm gonna add more light. Okay, maybe this orange is gonna work. Okay, I need another brush, smaller one. I don't have a smaller one, but okay, I'm gonna mix black and orange, touch of red, and I got brown. Blend with my fingers, I think it's working good. That's okay. A little bit more light. I don't wanna I don't wanna paint a little of the terrace. You know I work like that, I usually work from up to bottom, now here, now here, and then I go uh, up again. That means that I'm gonna continue working on, on the moose, but I don't know if I could do, I could do more, because yeah, I don't think that I need the tears. Or see if it's saying the blue in your painting seems a little bit different from the blue in the picture, but it's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. The way I could do is just mix more and try to match the color. Yeah, but let's see. You know, maybe we'll try that. But you know, like I don't care that much for real about matching a color exactly. Yeah. Sometimes I want to do that, but let's see. If I if I change my mind and tr and try to do that, that's gonna be just the same process, you know. I go slowly and I repaint again some areas and trying to you know slowly change the color.
one thing for sure when I paint is you know is between what I see on my painting and what I see on the photograph and let's say that we're not gonna match the colors when we try um, at least at the first try we're not gonna match the colors unless we spend more time mixing but the way I work that's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen on the first layer because I don't like to spend too much time mixing you know the good thing for me is like it's what I see here because obviously in this thing that I'm trying to match a color I got different colors sometimes the color is more mute sometimes it's more saturated and sometimes that little you know a few times that little change in saturation just bring a complete a different no no not no complete different but a little bit different color harmony a little bit of difference and a lot of times I love that yeah. and now and is when we are you know we check out our painting and the photograph we see differences but we love our painting you know? that's what Bob Ross used to say you know a happy accident Got the shadow here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do with the grass? I like the color. For sure, I like the color. Okay. Uh, I mean it's pretty close to the photograph eh? but uh, you know a little bit more reddish but I like it I think it goes with it goes with this in this area here and at the same time it, it has some harmony with the orangey areas that you see that we see through you know some areas there that's my canvas yeah okay anyway uh, I need to continue painting. Uh, the purpose I'm gonna keep them. I just wanna add more paint. Now I can just add the same brush strokes, or I can pick up a thin brush and try to imitate that tiny, tiny, you know, texture of the grass texture. I don't know which option is gonna be better. I think I'm gonna like both. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with uh, just more uh, brush strokes. I wanna see. I, I want to see more of the brush strokes, more than tiny, tiny details. Yeah. yeah, I could change my mind in next in the, in the next ten minutes. That's okay for me. That's okay for everybody, you know. We sometimes we want something and then uh, we see that maybe it works better on a different with different brush strokes with different colors. Anyway, I think a little bit of green. I see this green there. Okay, now orange.
some accents, some touches of the screen. step back like it I like it I like it but I think I, I exaggerated the green everywhere here 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 I'm gonna knock it down okay yeah, I'm gonna knock it down a little bit a little bit of orange okay I'm going over the green yellow here and white I feel some light here I see some light here and some light here okay got violet orange green this light yellowish color Up a little bit of red. Okay. Glycerin crimson. A little bit of a glycerin crimson here, so glaze. I'm going to zoom in and show you what I want. I want a little bit of transparency on the shadow. That's why I added this at least some greens on the shadows. Okay. Oh, you know I need more yellow there. I cannot get that yellow there. I'm gonna pick up pure white. Yeah. I'm gonna paint this pure white and then on top of that I'm gonna paint the yellow Okay, I'm gonna continue on the grass. Let's mix some cerulean blue, at least some crimson and white. Add some black and orange again, a touch of coming red. Pick up some orange. 
orange and red. Still wet. I love it. <laughs> okay, one thing I gotta do, uh, I'm gonna add a glaze of orange to this. Move the yeah, orange and, and yellow. Uh, lemon yellow is gonna be more, more saturated. I make it pretty transparent. A little water. Oh, I think pure orange. It better with pure orange. Mm, I'm gonna add more orange, they're gonna let it dry. Okay. Okay, this has to be dry. Oh, uh, not yet. I'm gonna paint the water again. The water, yeah, uh, it needs to be lighter here. Yeah. <laughs> I got my brush, still wet, it's really in blue, white, a touch of orange, more white, it's too light, it's too light and without color. And add more cerulean blue. Let's see. I don't like it. It looks too mute. I don't think I'm gonna get this color. Yeah, I think it's more like. Even this the sky, you know, the sky is different. It's not the same. But especially this color. I, I just have ultramarine blue and cerulean blue. I mean, I don't have more. Maybe I need a different pigment, okay? like thalo blue or Prussian blue. I'm gonna try again. Ultramarine blue and white. It doesn't look like it's gonna be the color. Maybe I need a touch of lemon yellow. I'm gonna add uh, cerulean blue again, just you know directly from the tube. I don't like it. 
You know, it's like too, too bright. I'm gonna let it dry. And repaint that area again. Wow, <laughs> too intense, yeah. Or maybe I can just work with glazes on top of that. Yeah. Not so sure yet. Not so sure. Okay, if I don't match this color, okay, it's gonna be okay for me. But I don't want this to be just that bright. I'm gonna knock it down. Okay. Put down too much orange. I don't want to use that much orange. Uh, I'm gonna put it back to the tube. Okay, now pure yellow. Yeah, the idea about adding, you know, white first is just uh, because uh, the acrylic is transparent. You know, the yellow is gonna glow more on top of white. That on top of the other color that was there, just my my canvas. You know, my canvas is not. It's not. Uh, white Like for example, I add this yellow here, the same yellow here. Definitely this one looks brighter. It looks brighter because of the the white that's beneath. Yeah. see a little bit of a warmer color here I'm putting pure orange I want to see how it looks if I if I saturate that a little bit more here the same okay this is dry not yet okay I'm gonna put more orange on the move back
to red. Okay, uh, oh, hello, Maji. Thank you. Mary Seen, second burn, second day. <laughs> okay, I got a question here. Do you like portraits more than landscapes? Oh, I have painted more portraits than landscapes. So I think I like both. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I, I don't know how to, uh, to know the the feeling or the emotion or what you feel when you paint. You know, once you when I'm painting, you know, and just painting, no, not planning that I'm gonna paint nothing. The feeling that I have is the same. Like when I paint a portrait, or when I paint a landscape, a still life. You know. I enjoy it every step. I enjoy even when I'm not getting what I want. I enjoy the feeling. You know. I enjoy the challenge. I think this is uh, it's about painting, but obviously we gotta love what we paint. We gotta like what we paint. Yeah. And I don't know. Uh, I gotta look really deep. On, on my formation or I don't know where to, to understand what I like to paint let's say something more than, than anything you know if I have to choose maybe portraits yeah but what I, like I said before when I'm painting you know it's just the same it just the feeling the emotion is the same Oh, I was thinking, oh, the blue here, okay. Then, blue, orange. No, I'm not, not uh, saying uh, about maybe being more relaxed when I paint landscapes and portraits or something like that. But definitely, that I, don't, I think that doesn't count. Yeah. But definitely it's different, yeah. Not that worry here about likeness or anything like that. It's more relaxing. Yeah. It's difficult to explain. It. I got all mixed up on my ideas. Not more light. Yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna knock down this color even more. I, I, I just, I feel a separation between this, this, this. Okay, I'm going to add a glaze. I got the, for, uh, the, the, the brush that I, I used at the beginning. I, it has a, a uh, this color was for this area. 
Okay. No, and I didn't agree, so I'm knocking down the blue completely. Okay. Now I'm gonna paint the blue again. I'm gonna try to control it better. Okay. Let's let it dry. Meanwhile, I'm going to continue painting some. Oops, this brush is drying. Here. No, the, the water is too grayish now. But you know, being the water that grayish, now I see more clearly the moves, the light here and the light here. And this. Eh? The blue I got, I got before it was like too much. It was like blocking. Maybe I, 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 I've been straining that blue that much that it was growing on my view. Like, like it's every, everything is that blue, and then I didn't see anything more. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but now I'm gonna go back and work on the blue again. Bob drink water and sing any more tears from art school, please? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, you know, I was thinking about this thing about painting more landscapes than portraits or, or vice versa. And I w when I was teaching, uh, that was that year that was pretty nice. That was five years ago. I taught for a year in the School of Art. And that uh, was pretty good, you know, that was on a little town on the Sierra with landscapes that you could, I mean this could be pretty easy a landscape from, from that place with a lake you know maybe not that big mountain here but definitely some snow and some smaller mountains uh, but the thing is that a few times they love to paint landscapes you know a few times they they were organizing like landscapes tournaments landscapes you know let's say and everybody just loves to 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 participate even teachers all the teachers painting landscape I was the only one that uh, didn't paint you know it was like oh that was pretty beautiful but I didn't do it yeah 
I don't know why now I'm trying to look for a reason like why it was just like going out everybody was going around the town with a Nisor looking for a you know for a spot to paint Uh, that was that was pretty pretty nice. Definitely now that I'm painting more uh, few landscapes lately. If I got the opportunity, I could I wouldn't waste the opportunity to be you know in a place in a beautiful place and painting a landscape. Uh, but when 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 it was about painting a portrait, it was like hey I want to paint a portrait you know. Yeah. who knows maybe you know that one thing for sure in the school of art when I studied I went we went to paint with my group with my, my friends we went to paint landscapes a couple of times then we we, we went to paint landscapes or you know by ourselves without the school of art but it, I, I don't know why I mean that, that landscapes are pretty beautiful but I don't know, I don't know, I mean, the one thing for sure, you know, that the, the, the School of Art is in downtown. It's like, you look everywhere and you don't find anything beautiful to paint. Not, not even the streets, like crowded streets where you cannot put a knee sore, you know. The, the, so, some of my friends, they love to paint the streets and that, a few of them. Uh, maybe it's that. We, I remember we went to paint a landscape to like two, three hours from the city. Once with the, you know, the school of art, it has a, a, a bus, bus, booth, bus. Yeah, we used to go there. And then another time we went to, to the beach, to paint on the beach. And, you know, I painted for a couple of hours. And that was pretty nice to go to the beach. It, it was like more <laughs> painting a couple of hours and spending the time with my friends the rest of the time. You know, drink, uh, I think we, we even took some beers with us just to have a nice time, you know. Anyway, that's history. Okay, I'm gonna paint the water again. I'm gonna go slow while I'm knocking down this blue. A little bit of white, a little bit of black to knocking down even more. More white. A little bit of water and let's see. Oops. I'm knocking down this too much. Okay, I think that's better. I'm gonna go slowly. Yeah? I'm gonna paint since it's pretty easy just to let it dry and paint over. I paint here. I'm gonna let it dry and I go with a second layer. I love, you know, the blue on, on, on the photograph. I just, I got this idea that this blue doesn't work on my painting. I don't know why, for some reason, maybe that's what I feel today. Maybe tomorrow I'm gonna look at the painting, it's gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna see the painting and, and it's, you know, I'm gonna think in a different way about color but now it's like just I don't like that blue there here okay uh, let's see I like it I'm gonna let it dry and again hello Bastian 
Yeah, my cuisine, I think painting anything is good. You learn a lot. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Oh, I got some comments here on Facebook, sorry. Hola, Le Montes. Hello, Kif Kifai. Thank you. Hello, Christine. Hello, Joanne. This is acrylic, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, again, we go with the blue again. I think I'm wasting my wasting my time with this lake. I just gonna should have painted just blue it, that's it. Who cares if it's just too saturated or, or not? Anyway. a little bit of orange I'm gonna try just dry br a dry brush no water
again this is dry a dry brush it's coming huh? no water okay the painting starts star starts to dry and I play like that okay oh the water again No, I don't feel this blue that intense. Definitely, what I had, what what, uh, what happened here is that I have changed the base color, like the color that's beneath, the same way that I did here for the yellow. I painted white on top of, and then on top of the white, the yellow. And imagine that you paint this on top of a darker brownish color. You know, if I paint this in things blue on top of uh, and, and, and a white canvas, it's going to glow more. If I paint it on a black canvas, it's going to look a little bit mute. And that's what I got here. You know, the color is not that bright like it was before. I didn't like it anyway. Better, you know. I like the, the whole painting. I don't like the color of the lake. I'm not saying that's, that's not beautiful, it's beautiful, it's just like, you know, I don't know, I think it, it will work better when it's mute. Anyway, I know that if I painted this color mute, maybe tomorrow when I just see the painting and say, wow, why didn't you paint, why you didn't paint the same color? That's just beautiful. It happens so many times when we decide to make some changes. And at the end, it's not that important. Hello, Nolan. Oh, thank you, Nolan. <laughs> uh, Bob Drinkwater is saying, do you do any photograph for photography as a hobby? Or oh, oh no. Uh, you know, I think I did it. <laughs> it wasn't a hobby. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I was a teenager, my, my 20s maybe, my mom, she used to work painting portraits. Yeah. Not, not not just that time, I mean, until I was, maybe my I was 40, my mom, she was still painting portraits. Yeah. The thing is that sometimes, you know, the client doesn't have any nice photograph. And my mom, she was like, hey, you gotta go to the place to take a photograph, to take some photograph, you know, and for that my mom, she bought a nice you know, camera, that time, you know, a camera was pretty expensive, 
that was pretty nice. I love that camera. At the end, we got ended up uh, having like three professional, almost professional, let's say, cameras. And I just took the camera and we went to the client, you know, to take so the photograph. And I was just there trying to think about the lighting, the position. You know, thinking about that. I remember thinking like uh hey the light you know sometimes we see more with some lighting we see more the person we can see some wrinkles let's say you know and I was like hey that's not a good take I was moving people you know here 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 yeah. and at that time the cameras they were they, uh, it wasn't easy to how do you say manipulate I was always checking on, I don't remember the names, but I'm checking the overture, aperture, I don't know, the, the lens it has some control, everything was manual, you know, you gotta check out the light and move the controls, like, it's too dark, you open something there, you move something there, because it was too dark, I knew that by, by memory, I knew that, I didn't even know how to do it exactly, how that works. I, I was just like, hey, it's too dark, you just move here to put it here. And I was like, hey, okay, is this too bright, too light, too, too much light on the, on the uh, you know, on the studio, on the, on the room, where you're taking the photograph, you gotta move this here. And I, that's what I did. And I, I took usually like 20 photographs. People was like, hey, that was too much. I was saying, no, no, that's not, never is too much. <laughs> you know, if I don't get a nice photograph, my mom is gonna kill me. <laughs> I think I got, you know, from 20 photographs for sure, I got at least a couple of them pretty good. Yeah, and I was like, and obviously when I was just going to a place, if I saw something nice, I took a photograph. Yeah, and another thing that was nice, I took a photograph again. Yeah, that was pretty nice, but just few things. Just few, few things, okay. I wasn't so compulsive about taking photographs, because I saw, if I saw something nice, yeah. Oh, it says Bob Drinkwine, it teaches you composition and framing as well. Yeah, I think I learned a lot of that just by doing that so many times because I did that for some years, you know, like every month I, at least I have to go four or five times to some places. And the other thing that was pretty nice that I was just moving all over the city from now north to south. Yeah. And that was pretty nice. Uh, oh yes, Nolan, uh, Aperture F, you know, all of that things, I don't even remember. But you know, I got the cameras with me. Three cameras. Amazing cameras. Yeah. I'm just keeping them, you know. One day I'm going to sell them a really high price. <laughs> I think that was, uh, you know, that was a nice time. Of, I remember. I mean, uh, I didn't stop my things. I was studying at the school of art, you know. And my mom was like, "Hey, tomorrow you you need to go to take some photograph." And I was like, "Hey, you know, tomorrow I got this." No. First is work. 
and I have to skip some classes on just to go to take some photographs. But that that, that wasn't that 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 bad, you know. It was like it was work. And you know the same thing here, you know. Here's pretty common, like when you're a teenager you gotta help. You gotta put something on the table. And at that time obviously I couldn't work. It was more helping to do things like taking the photograph, like painting backgrounds, like painting some portraits a few times. That is blue here. You see some oranges. You see them, those oranges. I love them. Yeah, I think those are pretty nice. Oh, Monique, you're speaking about the yellow. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe after painting the rest, I don't remember. But, uh, but the, the thing is that I'm going all over the painting. I'm mixing black now and a little crimson. One of the cameras it was Nikon, Nikon, sorry I don't know how to pronounce the name. It was pretty good camera. Yeah. Nice photographs. Hello Ben, hello Cesart, Cesart T. Yeah. Oh, that's that's an, uh, in Spanish, Cesarte. Yeah, I think. Oh no. Yeah, I remember taking taking a lot of black and white photographs. Yeah, that's for sure. But I don't know if it was about the camera, or if it was about just mm, that maybe my mom, she was deciding, you know, this has to be black and white, this has to be in color. I don't remember those details. But I remember taking some black and white photographs. Uh, that was uh, that was really really tough that taking the photograph. I have to I remember it so clearly that you know I have to move from here to there, 
move the person here, there, take a photograph. And you know, you don't see what you got because there's no way now that you see the photograph you say, hey, this doesn't work. You erase it. It's kind of, it's, it's just in your memory that you think that that's not going to work. You try to see as much as possible. And then when you see the photograph, you, you notice things that, hey, they, this doesn't work because of this. And you realize that you, like, there's a lot of things that we don't see. Looks like, like that. And, you know, by doing something so many times, at the end, we, we learn so many things. And uh, that was easier for me, just like knowing if the light is coming from the left, I'm going to do this, that, you know, things like that. One thing for sure, I mean, not a frontal light, because that kills the volume. Yeah. Just gonna try some dry brush. Oh, Monique, I would love to see some of your mom's portraits. Yeah, there is no no one of them, just a few of her paintings, like her personal, let's say, paintings. The ones that she was trying to be creative. But it's more about painting the family, painting some flowers, a landscape. You know, she was pretty, she just, she, she loved to smooth out the portraits a lot. And when I mean her her personal say her personal paintings it was like really huge brush strokes you know pre impressionistic like Monet like Van Gogh but no portrait I mean the the thing that happens that that's my mom she just to do portraits by uh I mean it's not like like me I'm painting just because I want to paint you know, for her, it's just commissions, commission after commission. It's just that, we, you know, in that, at the end, no portrait stays at the house more than the time that she took for painting a portrait, you know, just that. The same for, for my dad. And I'm adding some orange here, some accents. Okay. I'm going to add a little, a little bit of alizarin and crimson. Some touches there, okay. Uh, yeah, that's why there's no portraits here. Okay, I'm not in some. I, I I did a lot of you know. I, I'm gonna zoom in just to show you what I mean. Okay. okay, I got greens, I got orange, I got purple, you know, I got another green here, the more intense, more orange, the orange is a, a more yellowish, more reddish, yeah. and again and again, I got a little bit of a little greens on here, a little bit of orange that I added here, orange here, purple, okay, notice the red here. I added some the listening greens on here, but it's not that clear. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to add some touches of color.
<laughs> Not only since I still have my manual Pentax, at least friends who buys it. <laughs> Okay, what else? Oh. What I do at the end, usually I add some glazes and some dry brush. That, is the, that would be the same like adding glazes. You know, they say that's like adding a dry glaze. I think that's <coughs> that's it for today. It's been two hours. That's enough, I think, for a painting, for a La Prima painting. Doing mm -hmm. the brushes and checking out the painting, the squinting, stepping back. Got light here and light here. I mean that's just like the photograph. Maybe some light here. No. Yeah, I think everything's okay. Okay. Thank you so much everybody. Take care you all and see you all next time i mean tomorrow for drawing you know the drawing every morning trying to draw every morning i've been drawing for the last two weeks yeah it was pretty good thank you so much everybody take care you all see you all next time okay remember you like if you want to support me press the like button or subscribe to my channel to get notifications when I go live okay yeah. bye everybody about it <laughs> I'm thinking about the water here before I go that's the last chance I have to make some retouches I think that's okay yeah that's it bye